Do you ever have those days where the alarm clock goes off and you press snooze and then it goes off again and you press snooze again and then again and then again and then again? So as you can tell, I got off to a late start to the day, so I have to run to class now. I got a hat on, I got some sandals. It's just one of those days. Running in sandals is pretty hard though. Hey, right on time. At the start of class, the professor asked what type of insulator is commonly used, and I said rubber. And I was correct, dude. So we talked about static wires, circuit breakers, reclosers, potential transformers. But to be honest, it all looked like hieroglyphics to me. Okay, it was raining when I was walking to and coming back from class. So I'm trying to keep a little bit quiet because one of my roommates is still asleep. See, I wish this rain would just go away. Rain, rain, go away. Come again some other day. Wow. I can't believe that worked. In other news, we got this bad boy right here now. Wow! We have a table now. Unfortunately, half of the outlets in this room are out. That's right, we're practically living in the Stone Age. <laughs> As an electrical engineer, I'm upset. Do I know how to fix it? No. Another sad thing is that since the power's out, I can't use the microwave to eat my oatmeal. Ah! I'm gonna take a shower real quick and get back to y'all. Okay, so I talked with the house manager and apparently the breakers might be out in this room. So we're one step closer to having functioning power again. Ah! So I'm about to go get some food, man. They're serving gyros today. Gyros. Gyros. How do you say it? Gyros? There we go. I've been saying it wrong my entire life. As you can see, there were some nice chicken gyros alongside of a great salad. And we ate together because the frat that eats together stays together. I'm in next class until 1.30, so I'm going to take a quick little power nap before I go. Condition myself to sleep in short bursts. All right, time to get going. Power nap. So I have a pretty busy day today. That's why I took a power nap. Because I have classes to go to, I have a lab, I have to pick up stuff for the lab, I have to study for the lab, and then I have to also work out. As you can see, that's a lot of stuff to do. I mean, I guess it's really only five, so it's not that much. So I need all the energy that I can. Do I drink coffee? No. I get high on life. Living. So I arrived a little late to class, then I pick up some worksheets. In class, we learned the distance from point V to a plane, angle between two planes, and quadratic surfaces. Yo, what's up? Can I buy some parts for 2031? Yeah. Yes, I'm just gonna buy the little wire kit. Wires and circuit board. An essential part of an electrical engineer's toolkit. Now I have to run to class, which is only a floor above, so I'm fine. I didn't film going upstairs, but here's what it would've looked like. In systems class, we learned about linear time invariant systems, as well as discrete time Fourier transforms. This is me all writing it down. Now that class is over, I have to run to the gym so I can actually complete my workout before my class, or my lab that is, at six o'clock. Six o'clock. I feel like I've been running around all day. <laughs> I made it, Whew, and great time too. Over this weekend I ate about like 10,000 calories, so I need to go hard in the paint right now. First part of the workout, always stretch. Jack it up. Yo, I just found my biggest fan. How you doing there, buddy? Okay, so I forgot to print out my pre-lab for my lab, so I have to run and find a printer in like 20 minutes and also get to lab so I can take a pre-lab quiz. I think the closest printer to here would be the library, so I'm gonna head there now. Yeah, so this is the library. It's like seven stories. I need to find the printer though. There we go. Just need to print it out real quick and I'll be good to go. There we go, we did it. This lab is literally in the middle of nowhere. Bro, I don't know what that is, but that's really cool looking. Maybe one day I'll be able to build something that cool. I'll sit right here. Welcome to my lab station. This is my PC monitor. This is my PC. This is a keyboard, a mouse. This is a whatchamacallit. Very important, very important. This is a doohickey and this is a thingamajig. Your basic electrical engineering stuff. Uh, do I even have to explain it to you? This is the pre-lab that I had to print out.
At the beginning of our lab, we had a discussion about what's expected of us, as well as the rules and procedures. Okay, so for the lab, if you have red, it means you have a question. If you have yellow, it means that you're gonna check off. So pretty much the red cup is gonna be up for me all times. Look at that, 14 out of 14. I told you before, I only get those 100s, man. So this lab was pretty much an introduction to how this thing works. As you can see, this is my pre-lab, which is actually an exclusive OR gate, which we hooked up to the DE2 board and it made the lights turn on and off based on the corresponding outputs. Yo, done with the lab, an hour and a half early, by the way. I was zooming through that, so that's nice. Oh, I think I'm gonna head back to the frat house now. All right, so I get back to do a mixer proposal, so I'm gonna hop in on this. Quick note, a mixer proposal is where we dance in order to get a sorority to party with us. <laughs> that was fun. I learned I can't dance for the life of me, that is. So tomorrow, I might be doing a mixer proposal, so check that out. What do you think, man? You think I did good? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Y'all, check this out. We have power again.